James Wiley Shepherd Observatory is one of only a few uh, completely accessible observatories in the country. Uh, inside, we have uh, a ramp, internal ramp, that's uh, ADA grade for wheelchairs, and we have a pier that has 26 inches of play, a hydraulic pier on which the robotic mount sits. It has 26 inches of play, so we can get the eyepiece to the eye of a person in a wheelchair, and we can also get it to the eye of a child. That comes in very, very handy. Uh, previously, we had them stand on, on boxes, or mom would hold them up. This is an open design. You can see these uh, uh, struts that, that support the outer ring. That's the secondary mirror. The primary mirror is down here. I know it does, it does look like a death ray. Uh, it is a very powerful telescope. It has a 20 inch primary mirror. We're set to break ground in a few weeks on the command center. Uh, we have the funds in place now for uh, a 30 by 40 structure uh, that will house uh, a control room uh, which has the astrophotography unit, uh, other peripheral equipment uh, for the observatory, uh, storage area, and restrooms. The theme of sustainability is uh, very runs very deep here at the observatory. Um, we have a 1.4 kilowatt solar generator. The solar panels were part of a Legacy Incorporated uh, environmental grant, and uh, you can see that the the panels can be tilted and rotated so as to accommodate the ecliptic at different times of the year. So seasonally, you want to change the orientation of the, of the eight panels. It's 1.4 kilowatts, which means uh, that we generate more energy than we consume. Uh, this is a high carbon stainless steel door fabricated by Alabama blacksmith, John Farr. Um, to roll it, because it's so hard, uh, to get it to match the radius of the, the dome. Uh, this had to be uh, done in the north of the state where they had large enough equipment to bend the, the steel plate. These, as everyone recognizes, are the electromagnetic uh, field equations, uh, Maxwell's equation. So as your eyes move along these curves, then you can see the ancient symbols for the constellations of the zodiac uh, on the one side and uh, for the uh, planets, well, the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, latitude and longitude. Uh, so that's actually a modern, a more mo modern symbol. Um, these are ancient though. This is the looking glass of Aphrodite. So Venus, goddess of love and beauty, and the, the spear and shield of Ares, the god of war. Mars is the red planet, red for blood and fire, that accompany war. And the aegis of Jupiter, and, and so on, all the way down. And <clears throat> beyond the trident of Neptune, I want everybody to notice that we did debate for some time about whether or not to include Pluto. Pluto was kicked out of the planet, and it's now a dwarf planet, but yes, we included the uh, cup of the god of the underworld. 